All right, guys, I finally did it. This year I'm uh, running uh, lithium batteries for the first time. Uh, as you can see, I went with uh, Amper Time for the trolling motor batteries and Iconic for my starting battery. Uh, just regular batteries. Last season I, I had power trouble. You know, I got the, uh, the Garmin Live Scope and it takes a lot of power and about halfway through the day, I would have to start turning off graph just to try to conserve power. So I said this year, I'm not going to fish a tournament without having lithium batteries. So uh, the reason I got this set up like this is I want to go with Iconic. Uh, this is a, I guess you want to call it higher end battery just because it's more, it costs more than the Amper Time, but there's good reviews on the Amper Time, and uh, at this point in time, they don't have a starting battery, so I had to figure out who I wanted to go with for, for the starting battery. And the reason I like the Iconic because they got a little app that you can sh to pull up on your phone, and you can see what the state of charge is on this battery. So that's one reason I went with this, and the other reason was uh, it's a starting battery many lithium battery companies don't have starting batteries just yet you know it's probably five that I know of decent batteries that people use that you can actually look at reviews and all that good stuff so but other than that with the Amper Time I went with because the cost basically uh, these these Amper Time batteries cost half of what this Icon battery costs so but we're gonna stop talking about it. Um, I hope it works out fine. Like I said, I know a couple other people bought the Amper Time batteries this year. I'm the only one that bought uh, the Iconic battery that I know of in my circle. So uh, later on in the year, uh, we'll do a review on that battery and see how it's holding up. But uh, like I said, never had lithium battery before. This is probably gonna be a little learning curve. Hopefully it's just plug and play and let that be it. Uh, so we're gonna take my other batteries out with just regular lead acid batteries and we're gonna install these and see how that goes so come on with me and get, get you set up so you can see what's going on alright so this is what my battery compartment looks like now if you uh, hadn't watched the video of why I installed the new uh, battery charger Minn Kota uh, and put these new batteries in. I uh, did that, what, last year, I would guess, a little bit before last year. So, all these batteries are just interstate batteries I got from Academy. All of them are the same batteries. Uh, so, what I want to do is I'm just going to take a picture. That way, I kind of remember what everything looks like. And especially my starting battery, I want to know how many uh, cables I got going to that starting battery. Because when you get to the end and you're trying to put everything back on these batteries in the back, and you look at it like, dang, I know I had four cables coming on my, my uh, ground side, but where are they at? So I just want to do that real quick because I'm going to have to take all these batteries loose and just pull them out and basically start over. So. I just want to try to get in my head, okay, this battery goes to this battery, and this positive will go all the way back over to this uh, first battery, I believe. No, it goes all the way over to the trolling motor uh, breaker, so that type of stuff you need to have in your head because you spend unwanted time just trying to figure that out after the fact. So. So first thing I'm going to do, just like I said, just start taking these batteries loose and making sure that the uh, cables don't touch. And the uh, best thing I ever bought for this is these ratchet straps. I will put these in the description of this video. Uh, I know a buddy of mine was trying to get some and they was out. Uh, middle of last year but they got them back in stock now so uh, but with these ratchet straps these batteries hadn't moved I haven't to retighten them they haven't moved a bit and that's gonna be uh, uh, a key for batteries 
you don't want your battery jumping around in here, so. Okay, and it's ridiculous how light these batteries are. Like I said, that's one finger. And I can pick up all three of those batteries with one hand. And that's in. That's in. Give it one more. Man, that's in there good. I don't want to crimp it down too hard on this, this case. Because these cases are kind of uh, less durable as the uh, lead acid battery cases. So, but we got that in. So now we want to hook up. I'm going to hook up this positive side over here. I want to tighten these up, but don't. The other thing, they don't, they don't tighten them up too tight because a lot of people say you. Yeah, you strip the thread out of that battery, so we won't want to mess up a new battery right off the before we even get to use them. Okay, I got that battery in, everything's on. I'm gonna go ahead and put the rest of them in, but I'm gonna hold out on those two over there. Uh, we got something special we gotta do, so let me get this other battery in and we'll come back. All right, I was just putting the uh, cranking battery in, this iconic battery. And the only thing I've ran into so far is that the actual uh, stud that the actual cables go on, I had to widen these out. Uh, I had to get my drill and actually drill these cables a little wider to fit on this uh, connection uh, stud there. Uh, I don't know why this is a little bigger than a normal stud. I don't know the extra size, but uh, the drill bit that I got on my drill here is a, if I can see it, uh, I can't make out what it is. But you're going to have to drill out your uh, connections here to fit on that stud. I don't, I'll see if I can find what size that is and put it in the, uh, on top of the video. But right now, uh, I've had to open up, I'm about to open this one up. Uh, the actual charging cable fits on there fine. But the rest of them, uh, didn't, this other side, the power, the, the positive side, I didn't have to open them up but the uh, ground inside I'm having to open them up so I just want to let you guys know that and uh, in just case you run into this scenario you will have to open these uh, connections up And I'm just getting my drill and running down the middle of them real slowly so I don't grab and break the, the connector. I mean, it's not that bad with these being copper. Except when you get to the bottom, you have to be careful. I'm not even putting any 
pressure on it. And I'm trying to, every time it grabs, I'm trying to release it before it snatches me around. See, like that. I didn't want to get it invented because I don't want to break it. I just put the drill in reverse and go in there reverse. That helps out a lot when it gets to the end. So like I said, right now, like I said, that'll fit on there. So I just want to show you that guys, I'm gonna put the rest of these that battery in and this other battery, and we should be done. I know you have seen this a million times, but I'm gonna do it again because I want to see it. But I'm gonna do the weight of the old batteries compared to the new batteries. That's 59.2 pounds for the old lead acid battery and the amper time battery. Let's see if we can reset that. And the amper time battery is 25. So that's over half, under half the weight of that lead acid battery. So we'll do the math at the end of the video. And I want to try this Iconic battery the same way. Like I said, this is my starting battery. My starting battery 32 pounds, 32.4 pounds. So it's a lot of weight getting taken out, but let's go back putting them back in the boat. Okay, I got all the batteries in. I uh, just want to show you uh, for the uh, Amper Time, they come with actually four of these uh, studs. To, I don't know why it's four of them. I guess because you lose two of them or something. I don't know, but uh, they the same size uh, and uh, two caps that you can put over top of the actual nut which I thought was a cool little deal uh, just a little finished look but like I said it comes with four of those and uh, the Iconic that was one of the reasons that I had on my research I found that you have to be careful with these studs because some of them will get stripped out if you try to tighten them too hard so make sure you barely just just tighten them as far as they need to go don't try to gorilla tighten them because you'll strip them um, but these little caps I, I like these little caps I mean they're not going to do much but you know they're just showing that that you got a little finished look on your batteries here so uh, and the other reason I like the iconic batteries because you they got a little app let's see if we can uh, go to that on my phone here and you can actually see the charge of that battery by Bluetooth so that's the only icon battery I got here if I click on that uh, you can see that battery is 64% right now. It's a 125 amp hour battery and uh, if you can see at the bottom here it, it tells you the volts and amps and all that good stuff and you can actually um, if you click that you can see all the stuff that it's doing while you're running or charging it or whatever and you can tell how many amps is drawing once you connect all your units up and all that good stuff. So that's why I like the Iconics just for this this app. But uh, I'm pretty sure the Amper Time will work on that. And they probably come out something where you can Bluetooth down the road. But I uh, just want to show you that for you can uh, have that in your arsenal when you do your research. Well, there you have it. I got the new lithium batteries installed. Got a tournament this weekend, the first tournament of the year, so uh, I think it'd be beneficial to my fishing that I can have power all day. 
uh, like I said plus I got weighed out of this boat which is just a plus and uh, hopefully everything works the way it should like I said I hadn't tucked it out on the water to check it yet but uh, we will do that this weekend uh, the next thing I got to do is get all my rods spooled up a new line and all that good stuff and I haven't touched any of my tackle which I might have to go into this tournament without doing that because I just got my truck to the point where I think it'll it'll be good you know I had to put another engine in it hopefully you can see that video before this one and uh, other than that I just gotta update my gum and I seen I had a new update on that and then hopefully that shows me where all the big fish at and uh, as you can see the boat is destroyed with everything on it uh, but I think I'm good to go and uh, like always guys I'm gonna put everything that I use down in the description in case you guys want to go get one and uh, I guess that's it but make sure you subscribe if you haven't and uh, like always if you hit the like button it helps my channel out and like I said I'm going to Bankhead the river Bankhead in Bessemer Alabama on the Black Warrior River uh, it's the first time I'm going there, so it should be exciting. Everybody's saying that the fish are biting there, so we'll go see for ourselves, and hopefully we can catch us a couple of pounds and actually get a check starting the year out. But other than that, guys, I'm going to stop rambling. I'm out. Thanks for watching.